Ještě tak krmám. Ježíš. Ale <laughs> ani No nič. To musíme nájsť. We are looking for my sister's nail. I was going to tell you the story of the air fryer, but then my sister comes and she tells me her nail um, fell off. I got this air fryer months ago, but this is the first time we are actually going to use it. You know, for some reason I have this thing that I am not able to touch raw meat or uh, raw fish. I think we found her nail. Anyway, meanwhile, I am signing into like a Portuguese language course. It's something I wanted to do for a year now and uh, because of my job I cannot actually go to a language school because I'm never really on one place for such a long time. And I found this guy on Instagram and the course is online and you can basically do it whenever you have time, so that's perfect. And the thing with my Portuguese is that um, I understand and, well, I can speak some stuff but uh, I study in Portuguese, so I obviously understand. But when I have to speak, that's a bit of a problem. So I need to do something about it. I speak Spanish, so it's a bit easier, I guess. Yeah, September is always a time when I just like sign up to courses and schools. Last year, I remember I was in Peru and I decided that I'm going to do my PhD. I even remember making a post on Instagram about it because that time I was working in South America and I didn't really have too much free time so I don't really know what was I thinking like how am I going to be able to manage all of that but somehow it worked and now I'm just like yeah let's do another course but I think this year my life is a little bit less busy than it was at this time last year. We came to the beach and you know what my sister said? That it's giving her Balaton Lake vibes. Lake Balaton is in Hungary and uh, we used to go there when we were kids. We asked on social media what you should and what you should not do here on the island and we got some really interesting answers. Uh, I downloaded them all. I have them here in my uh, computer. So there are some people saying, uh, maybe let's start with like the positive ones, the positive or the negative, the good or the bad ones. Okay, let's start with the good things maybe. Do take your time to appreciate things, be nice to nature, don't wait for the bill ask for it. If you stay at a restaurant with a credit card cash on the table, you will be waiting until you call someone. What I think is that it's only a cultural things and things here work a little bit slower than on continental Europe or in the United States. Uh, use spotazores.com it has uh, live cameras over the islands for you to check the weather before going somewhere. Weather can be crazy sometimes. Especially in winter, the weather is crazy. Like there are cameras on the most touristic spots on the island so you can check what's the weather like on different locations. Don't go down the road that says no cars should be self-evident, but let's just say I was young, confident and stupid. There are some roads which are very steep and you are going to have a problem coming up those roads. When I was here on an exchange program, uh, there was a group of my friends who tried to go down a very steep uh, road in Nordeste, I think, and they couldn't come up and the uh, firefighters had to come. I just received a message if I want to spend New Year's in Mexico or Cuba. <laughs> she doesn't. I don't. 
Somebody is mentioning not to rent a car from Ila Verde. I don't have a personal experience with this uh, car rental company, but uh, it has good reviews on Google. Either way, if you come here, it's good to have a car. Uh, because it's very difficult to get to some of those places with the public transport and uh, you are going to waste a lot of time. Ciao is not Portuguese. If you are trying to use it as the Italian ciao, then it is hola. Hola. Americans saying that Americans are really loud and uh, that they should take up less space and they should talk more quietly. And then there is another American commenting on that, that that's 100% true, that Americans are so loud. Each time we are enjoying the peace at the beach or in a nice spot, we got so bothered by Americans that they are talking so loud. Don't give money to the street people in uh, Ponta Delgada offered them food instead. It is true that there are a lot of people in Ponta Delgada asking for money all the time, but I think you realize it this much because Ponta Delgada is such a small town and it's always the same people who are asking for money. Download the map of the island just in case you don't have service, need to know where you are going. Yeah, it can happen that on some spots you have no service on, on the island, so this is a good tip. If you are coming to São Miguel, learn how to drive properly in the roundabouts. This is something I want to make a video on. I want to connect with a policeman or a driving school who is willing to talk on camera in English and who could just explain how to drive properly in the roundabouts and in the towns and just in general on the island. I think that would be a very helpful video. Respect the locals and uh, pay attention to where and how you are parking. And this is so true because what I've been seeing here over the summer is that a lot of people are just parking wherever and however and you cannot actually pass through the street sometimes I have this feeling that uh, tourists just come here and they park and do whatever they want to do make reservations for uh, for dinners and uh, for restaurants uh, especially in the summertime uh, there are some restaurants you cannot even make a reservation that you just have to come and you take a number and after they call you but uh, yes, I think to most of the restaurants it's possible to make a reservation. Try to go to a local festa if you're here in the summer. Yes, there are so many festas over summer. Uh, some of the celebrations are organized by, uh, by the church. Uh, they're like Catholic uh, celebrations, you know and the others. There are so many festivals over summer. Don't pick flowers and don't take things from the land buy souvenirs instead yes it's not nice just imagine somebody comes to your garden and they start picking flowers and taking fruits from your fruit tree i understand this point well there is an interesting one um please don't talk about money or how cheap everything is the locals can barely afford to do less than half of what you are doing here or stay in the places you are staying Everything has actually gotten more expensive, but wages haven't increased. Be mindful. There is somebody commenting that uh, they wanted to travel to the Azores solo, but they don't have a driving license or that they don't want to rent a car. Whether it's okay to travel to the Azores then, I would say yes. Uh, you can find a group of people who are renting cars and you can join them, or especially if you stay in a hostel, a lot of people, uh, there are a lot of people who are renting cars, so you can just make friends and, uh, and join them. Or you can still use uh, the public transport and you just use it in combination with, uh, with taxis, for example. He got a lot of the same answers, they were just written down or phrased uh, differently. If there is anything else you would add, let me know.
I think the summer season is... <laughs> that's my sister who doesn't want to be uh, in a video right now. Uh, but I think the summer season is officially over because we came for a walk now in the evening and it's just so quiet and you know it's that time of the year when the ocean is still warm, the weather is still good and the beaches are, are empty. Anyway, we are in the port uh, in Villa Franca. Oh, there is a ship coming, like a sailing ship. She came to visit me, we went to Lisbon together, we went to Madeira together and then we came to São Miguel and she is going to stay for some weeks or months, we don't know yet but uh, tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow, we are going back to Lisbon because I have to go uh, for work and she is coming with, uh, with me.